What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have, hope I pronounce this right, Kari Ban. Yes, indeed. How about that? Kari Ban making their debut on the channel. This comes as a request from Sean, and this was Sean's prioritized request for the month of June for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Sean. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, Sean wanted to see me react to this. It is Kari Ban featuring I Kuabata. I hope I pronounced that name right. I Kuabata. And they're doing a Mike Stern song called Chatter. Is this the same Mike Stern that I'm thinking of? Jazz guitarist extraordinaire. Are we talking about the same Mike Stern here? If we are, I'm in for a treat. Uh, I love Mike Stern. I, I think he is a phenomenal jazz guitar player. I, in particular, his work with Steps Ahead. Uh, God, I, I loved it when he was with them. It was him, Michael Brecker, uh, Daryl Jones, uh, my God, what was his name? Mike Manieri, I think his name is, uh, the vibraphone player. Uh, I forgot who the drummer was, but uh, when they did that, uh, they, they did a live DVD, man. That was some of the best jazz work I've heard in a long time, man. That was some great stuff. Love that DVD. Um, no, I, I love Mike Stern's style. I love how he plays. Uh, so hearing that they're gonna cover a song by Mike Stern is pretty cool. Now, have I heard this on Chatter before? I don't think so. This does not resonate with me, but look, I'm gonna be straight with you. There is a good chance I may have heard the, the original before. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. Regardless though, this is a cover. So, I okay, whether I've heard the original song or not is kind of irrelevant. Uh, I'm gonna be reacting to and scoring and evaluating what Kari Band does with this song. So I won't be taking the original song into account. Whether I've heard it or not, I won't be taking it into account. I'm only gonna be taking into account what they do to the song. So please keep that in mind. Uh, this was posted by Kari Band, okay? And the video has 112,962 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm assuming that means Cardi. I'm assuming Cardi Band with I, uh, Kuabata Chatter at Shibuya Jay Z Brat. Okay, no idea. <laughs> Jazz club, maybe? It's a smaller venue. It looks like it's a smaller, more intimate stage, so it very well could be a jazz club. Wait a minute. Wow, man, freaked out! Sean? Nani? That bass looks familiar. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Is this. I thought they were called the Kami Band. I didn't think they were called Kari. Oh, maybe they maybe they have to change it into Kari Band so they don't have copyright problems. Is this the is this the backing group for Baby Metal? Is is this the band? I recognize that bass. If, if I'll bet you that's Bo. I'll bet you it is. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. I I think I see why Sean requested this now. This is gonna be interesting. I, I know from the comments, and I, I suspected Bo was jazz trained because he, he reminds me so much of John Patucci when he plays. Uh, if this is a Mike Stern song, this is gonna be really interesting. All right, let's do this. 
All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> Man, this is taking me back to my jazz roots. Oh, God, I love it. This is good. This is really good. I'm digging this. Uh, I do not recognize it, so I don't think I've ever heard the original. That's good. In, in some ways, it's good. In some ways, it's bad. I can't make a comparison to see how close this is to the original or what they did to mutate or anything like that or what liberties they took, but it's still good. I'm still enjoying it. Um... I love how, I believe that's Bo on the bass, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I love how he took the, the forefront of the, of the groove and really kind of made it happen, made it work um, on those upper strings. Playing two strings, using the two fingers, you know, pulling on both at the same time. Really cool, playing on the bar, Barnum and cor getting the chorus going. Um, it's got a good groove, man. It's got a good groove, especially when the groove actually kicked in. When the groove fully kicked in, yeah, I felt it. I absolutely felt it. Um, uh, the keyboard player is this uh, Aikuabata. Is that who this is? Uh, doing a really nice job. Really nice job getting some great patches out of that keyboard. Uh, sounds just like a Rhodes. It sounds fantastic. I love it. Uh, very fitting for the style. Very nice. Let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm digging this. I know I'm, I know everybody knows me as like a rock and metal guy, but a lot of people don't know that I was jazz trained. Like when I was playing bass, when I was learning how to play bass, I learned how to play bass by playing jazz. So I grew up with this stuff, man. I grew up with this style of music. So jazz and prog rock. That was what I was into in the, in the, in the 90s, man. Everybody's like, how could you have never listened to, Pearl Jam, and how could you have never listened to Soundgarden? How could you have never listened to Nevada? Because I was listening to stuff like this. I was listening to stuff like this. This is amazing. I love this stuff. So this is what I was brought up on. And I, I'm sorry, but if I have my druthers, okay, if I had a choice between listening to this or listening to Pearl Jam, no offense Pearl, intended here, Pearl Jam fans, but I, I'm going to go back to jazz every single time. I'm sorry. It's just, that's how it is. Anyway, let's keep going here. That mic starts sliding. I love 
take it. Uh, he, he, I love he did that. I love how he did that. He looked right at the piano player, measured the eye contact, and he pointed to him like, okay, your turn. Take it. See what you can do. I have a feeling we're going to see the piano player show off what he can do. All right. Wow. Um, or she. I'm not Is that he or she? I don't know. Maybe it's a she. It's possible. And I doesn't matter to me. I'm easy either way. But I mean, I just I can't tell, hundred percent. Um, man, ho oh, ho, oh. that was some nasty guitar work there. Oh my god, whoo! <laughs> the uh, the sweet picking that I saw toward the end there. Good lord. Sliding up into the sweet pick, sliding up into the sweet pick, up and down. Woo! Good lord. And before that, just the hammer ons and the pull offs that were happening. Good lord. Oh, God, so good. And the whole time, bass and drums locked in, got that rhythmic pattern going. Gotta love that. See, this is why I love jazz, man. I, I just, God. Whew. I'm kind of getting, I'm not going to lie, I am kind of getting like a steps ahead feel on this, a little bit. All they need is a sax player. That's all they need. <laughs> we need Michael Brecker front and center with his Iwi. <laughs> no, this is, this is outstanding. I am absolutely digging this. Let's, let's keep this going. <laughs> stuff there was fantastic loved that i love how they went back into the groove uh the keyboard player just kept right on going with the solo and that was great that that was good but it, it brought about like okay this is the last stop you know th th this is the end of it so it that was good I'm, I'm glad how they came back around they gave it that chance to end out nicely like that it wasn't an abrupt ending i was getting serious shades from the keyboard player of uh tower of power it, it in particular uh, Chester Thompson, when uh, they were doing, uh, oh God, uh, Knock Yourself Out from the, uh, from the uh, Live and Living Color album, when, uh, when Chester Thompson, CT, as they called him, when, when CT did his little uh, organ solo, uh, man, I was getting shades, shades of that from her. I'm, I'm almost positive that's her. Um, I'm almost positive that, that that's a lady there playing the keyboard, which is outstanding. Got no problem with that. 
Bring it, girl. Absolutely. Uh, but seriously, I was getting absolutely getting shades with Chester Thompson there. The way they get the and then up to the octave. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole time that she's doing that off tempo, you know, here's the guitar and bass and drums locked in. Just absolutely locked in, keeping that tempo steady, keeping that feel steady. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. How can you listen to this and not love jazz? I'm serious. Like, how, how can anybody listen to this and not, okay, maybe not love it, but how can you not listen to this and not, I mean, how, how can you listen to this and not have at least a deeper appreciation for jazz? I mean, I'm serious. How? How can someone listen to this and go, oh, jazz is garbage? How? How? I, I just don't understand how people can do that. So good. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> nice hesitation there. Yeah, man. Woo! That was dope. That was absolutely dope. Loved it. Loved everything about it. Um. God, now I gotta come up with a score for this. Oh, jeez. All right, let me think about it. Let me think about it. I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Kari Band featuring Ai Kuwabata. I hope I pronounced that name right. Uh, doing a live rendition of the Mike Stern song, Chatter. Uh, this was a request from Sean. And this was Sean's prioritized request for the month of June for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Sean. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, <laughs> I loved this for a number of reasons. Uh, there are a lot of things that I really enjoyed about this, and uh, I think the score is gonna reflect on that. I can't even hide it. Let's just get to it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 9.1. Yep, 9.1. You heard me, I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this song and this video deserve. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Uh, first of all, jazz. 
Jazz on the channel. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that was gonna happen? I had no clue. I never thought I would ever see Jazz appear on this channel. I am so glad it did. It brought me back to my roots, man. It did. I remember playing stuff, not, not this particular song, but I remember playing songs like this in high school, man. I I loved playing this kind of stuff, man. This, this kind of stuff was fun to play. It was really fun to play. Now, does it have all the energy that, you know, rock and metal have? No, it doesn't have all the energy, but you know what? It's, it's, it's challenging to play and it's fun to play, especially when you're all on the same page and you're all in the groove and it, it just, it, everything just lines up, man. When everybody in the band just sinks in and locks in, oh God, there is no better feeling in the world than that. There just isn't. It feels so good. Um, so it was great to have some jazz on the channel. It was. I, I dug that. Um, number two. There were a number of mind blows, okay? I, I, I don't even add. Everybody had their mind blow moments, okay? The bass player. Okay, first of all, Cardi Band. Okay, so I suspected when I saw the bass, I was like, that's the bass that Bo uses from Baby Metal. Is this... Baby Metal's backing group doing jazz. So I did a little, I did after the reaction, after it was done, I went and I did a little research. Yeah, it turns out it's exactly what it is. It's the drummer and the bass player and the guitar player before he passed away. Um, so it, it's them. So yeah, <laughs> it's them. And then uh, we had Ai Kuwabara, who I found out is a, she is a phenomenal piano player, mostly in jazz. And she did a phenomenal job as always. Uh, from what I understand. I was reading up on her a little bit too. She has quite a career under her belt. So yeah, good fit. Um, number of mind blows from everybody involved. First of all, Bo. I mean, look, I mean, doing what he was doing, uh, he didn't get a solo per se. He was the only one who didn't actually get the solo, but he was still doing some really cool stuff. Doing the bar chords, two finger uh, plucking bar chords, which was nice. Uh, gets a very distinct sound, not, not a snap, necessarily but a, a, a definite pluck sound and i i dig it when bass players do that i do that myself on a number of occasions um especially when i'm playing oddly enough jazz music uh, but uh, some progressive stuff too uh let's see uh he was doing some phenomenal uh syncopation with uh with the uh, the drummer and the guitar player and the keyboard player at times too when they were all playing in unison uh, but that's not just Bo, though. That, that's everybody involved. That's everybody playing tight, and that's really cool. But, you know, ultimately, that, it starts and ends with Bo. So that was great work on his part. The guitar player, holy crap. <laughs> Look, I knew he could play, okay? I knew the guy could play. I've seen him shred. I've seen him play in baby metal. But this was a whole new level. This was some super impressive playing on his part. Um... His solo was immaculate, just absolutely immaculate. The slide up into the sweep pick and then down and then slide up into the sweep. I'm sorry, going the wrong way. Slide up into the sweep pick and down. Slide up into the sweep pick and down. Dang, that was clean, ridiculously clean. Um, the tapping and the slide, and the tapping slide, tapping slide. That was cool. I mean, I've seen him do that before, but he fit it in here too as well. Really nice job on his part. Uh, again, playing in sync in the synchronized parts with everybody, super tight. Uh, again, that goes for everybody. Um, Aikuabata on the keyboard. Man, I was getting shades of Chester Thompson for Tower of Power when she kicked in, boy, with her solo. Uh, I swear I was hearing I was hearing Chester at some points. Uh, during her solo, just like in you know, Knock Yourself Out on Live and Living Color, that the same repetitive, you know, and then going up to the octave, you know, even higher, doing the exact same pattern, but just making it fit that that almost triplet feel against the four that uh, the drummer and, and, and Bo were laying down, and the guitar player as well. Uh, especially when they went back into the main groove. When they went back into the main groove, that was so tastefully done, kind of wrapping it up, letting everybody know, okay, we're gonna end this and move on, but not abruptly, just a very smooth transition. Very, very nicely done. The drumming on this was exceptional, absolutely exceptional. 
Uh, even the drum solo. Not always the biggest fan of drum solos, if I'm being honest. I'm not always the biggest fans of them. But when they're done right, I enjoy them. And when they're done well, I enjoy them. And boy, <laughs> he has some great moments. I love the part where he hesitated. Yo, come on. Jim. Pow, come back in and it's like, oh, you left us dangling on that line, didn't you? Like a hook, like a worm on a hook just spinning around in the air before you plunge us into the water and we're sitting here waiting for it. And then when it, it finally happens, it's like, okay, there it is, you know? Uh, just it, it just great feel for him overall though. I mean, great symbol usage, not overly used. Uh, rely more on skins than symbols, which I do appreciate. But even when he did go up to symbols, it was still tastefully done. It still felt good. It felt very natural. So yeah, I got nothing. I got no issue with anything that he did. Fantastic work. Way to keep that tempo going too. Even when he was playing off tempo, even when he was playing off tempo, the tempo was still locked in. Now. Whose responsibility is that? At that point, it's actually Bo's responsibility to keep the tempo going. So, great job, Bo, as always. <laughs> now look, I did have my mind blown a couple of times on this. I did. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Uh, I would not mind seeing more from these guys. I wouldn't. Do I want this to turn into the Jazz Channel? No. Guys, look, you're gonna, everyone's gonna be like, react to Coltrane, react to Parker, react to Davis, you know, react to, react to, uh, you know, Count Basie, react to Duke Ellington. Guys, I know these bands. <laughs> I know a lot of jazz music, okay? So I don't want to turn this into the jazz channel, but you know, look, if you guys request it, I'll do it. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'd rather not turn this into the jazz channel uh, unless it's something I've never heard of before. Like this, this was phenomenal. I, I would not mind doing a couple more reactions from this. I, I really wouldn't. This was, this was definitely fun to watch, so. Mine did get blown a couple of times. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed this, and that is why it's getting the 9.1. So, 9.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.